Hello guys, we are back again. We are presenting a question in biology form 1, a question on the estimation of the cell size. And the question we have reads, a student used a light microscope to observe a specimen from the epidermal tissue of an onion. The eyepiece lens magnification was times 5 while the objective lens magnification was times 40. He observed five cells in the field of view of four millimeters. The first part of the question, calculate the size of one cell in micrometers. We know to get the size of one cell, we take the diameter of field of view in micrometers we divide by the number of cells observed along the diameter of field of view we have been told that diameter is four millimeters and we know one millimeter is equivalent to 1000 micrometers meaning four millimeters which is the size of the diameter of field of view would be equivalent to 4,000 micrometers. In this case, to get the size of one cell, we take the diameter of field of view in micrometers, which is 4,000. We divide by the number of cells observed along the diameter of field of view, and we, we are told that they observed five cells. So if you take 4,000, you divide by five, you get an answer equivalent to 800 micrometers. Remember, this is the size of the cell under magnification. Roman 2 says, what is the actual size of the cell in micrometers? For us to get the actual size, we must first get the magnification. And to get the magnification under the light microscope, we take the eyepiece magnification, we multiply by the objective lens magnification. The eyepiece magnification has been given to be times 5. We multiply by the objective lens magnification, which has been stated to be 40. And if you take 5 times 40, you get times 200. What it means is that this cell has been magnified 200 times, meaning to get the actual size, actual size of the cell, we take the size of the cell under magnification, which is 800 micrometers, we divide by the magnification of times 200, and if you take 800, you divide by 200, you get 4 micrometers as the size or the actual size of the cell. We go to part B of the question. Explain why images formed by electron microscope are viewed on a screen or photographic plates. Remember an electron microscope uses a beam of electrons which are harmful to the human eye so we can have our answer an electron microscope uses a beam of electrons which are harmful which are harmful to the human eye. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you have just pumped onto the channel for the first time, please take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification.